It's your girl Tara, and it's midday with Tara. You know I'm trying to get all get all my devices up and running. Periscope is still acting a little crazy, so I'll give you guys a few moments to um come on in. Come on in, like and share. This is gonna be a impactful, educational, and inspirational um time with midday with Tara. So I just want you guys to get ready. Get ready. I'm gonna see if I can. I don't think I can get Periscope up, so I don't think I'm gonna be on Periscope today. We'll work it out some other time when I'm not gonna. I don't know why Periscope won't come up, but it's all good. Hey, it's, it's your girl Tara, and it's Midday with Tara. So if you're just coming on, you're just logging in, like and share, like and share, like and share. So I, I have two devices here, so if I'm looking up and down, you know I got, I'm got i live on a couple of platforms. But I wanted to, I wanted to share today it is april the 24th wow i mean the month of april is is almost out it is almost out let me take this off okay so let we have been talking this month about balance and staying focused how to stay balanced and how to keep your focus that's in every area of your life whether it's your emotions uh psycho psychologically spiritually whether it's your health your relationship your business how to stay focused and keep balance so that you can produce the wanted cycle the wanted uh, intended end purpose adventure endeavor results that you are looking for that won't happen unless you stay focused and you keep balance so today we're going to talk about the importance listen to me now of isolation and silence i talked about it a little bit last week but there's a reason that you have to go through cycles listen to me of isolation in your life if you've been following me i've been talking about going from transition to transformation from transition because we're always transitioning we transition every month we transition every day we transition every year we have a birthday every 10 years we go into a new decade we all we're always transitioning but we're not always transforming transforming we're ever transitioning, but we're not always transforming. And we get frustrated because we realize I've been repeating these same cycles in my life over and over again for the last 30 years. Why do I keep repeating these same cycles, whether it's in my health, whether it's in my relationships, whether it's in uh, my emotions, whether it's with a family member, whatever business, employment, why do you keep repeating those same cycles well i'm gonna tell you why because you're not doing something to break those cycles of course i gotta throw my book up if you haven't gotten a book let's talk breaking unwanted cycles you need to get it this will change your life it's practical it's a 30 minute read 30 minute read it gives you practical ideas because i talk about you know doing the two steps the three steps the four steps the 20 steps the 12 steps you know, they tell us if we do something for 21 days, you're going to produce change. Well, I've done a lot of 21 days. And guess what? On the 24th days, I started back in my same patterns. You know, I went back to those same unwanted patterns and cycles that I, were, that I was in before. So that just, it will help. But you have to have a strategic plan, purpose, and understanding before you can even decide to break a cycle isolation does that isolation is important in your life because isolation produces silence in your life when you go into isolation you produce silence 
Why do you need isolation? Why does it produce silence? Because guess what? When you have too many voices, when you're trying to break a cycle, when you're trying to do something different, you have to break away from those things, those people, those places, those mindsets that have kept you in bondage for so many years, keeping you in that cycle. When you're in isolation, there's a period of silence. You can't get with Nene and Boo Boo and Junebug and cousin, cousin them and all those same people that have been in your life or same things that have been in your life while you have been in a cycle that you're trying to break. If you And what do I mean when I say that? If you're trying to do something new, you got to get rid of the old. When you go into isolation, that means I'm shutting every everything, everybody off. When you shut people and things off, it's silence. You don't hear anything but your own thoughts. And when you are left to yourself, you have to deal with yourself. And the reason, I'm going to say that again, when you are left to yourself, when you go into isolation, you have a period of silence because, silence because you are left. Hey, guys, you are left to yourself. And there's no other voices, no other people, no other things, no, no, no other distractions to distract you from dealing with your thoughts transition to transformation you got to do something different so you have to go through that silence that time of silence is when you learn okay what have i been thinking what type of mindset do i really have because if we can say one thing but it's a difference in what we have really believe and what we really do because we do what we believe and not what we say so silence produces that time in your life so that you can get to know you. I always use this and I'm going to keep using it because everybody knows Michael Jackson. And we used to love Michael Jackson, the man in the mirror. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm looking to uh, produce a change. And I might have messed that up, but in a, anyway, it's I'm looking for a change. Well, guess what? When you get in the mirror by yourself, you have to deal with yourself. You have to deal with your isms, your mentality, your beliefs, your mindsets. You have to deal with all of that. You have to deal with that. And during that time, once you deal with it, listen to me. Once you deal with, okay, I'm silent, I'm by myself, there's nobody here, I don't have any distractions, I don't have anybody to add some input in or what do you think, what you think I should do, you just left it yourself. Because when you, it's like an a, a, a onion, when you pull those layers of yourself that you've developed those negative mindsets, those wrong belief systems, those uh, unproductive mentalities, when you start pulling all of that stuff off, those layers off of yourself, when that stuff comes off, guess what? You dealt, you are left with you. You are left with you. And when you are left with only you, not what somebody else thinks, not what you ask somebody, not somebody else beliefs, but what you believe and why you believe it, your mentality and why you have it, how you developed it, your... Uh, disappointments your frustrations your issues when you are left with that then and only then you can start the cycle of change from transition to transformation you wonder why why do i keep going through all these i, I have a boyfriend today i got a boo today i'm going on vacation this last year i went on vacation with joe this year i'm going on vacation with mark why do you keep going through those cycles because you, you're doing the same thing you're doing the same thing thinking you're gonna get something different 
and you're blaming everybody else. It's everybody else's fault. Why, 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 why? Why I can't save money? Because you're too busy buying stuff. That's why you can't save money. You're putting out more than you're bringing in. <laughs> you're living above your means. Why can't I lose weight? Because you're snacking too much. You're snacking too much. My friends get me, why you don't want to go out and eat? Because I'm trying to lose weight. Fat people, when you're trying to lose weight, that you're overweight, and I said, I'm talking about me, I'm not trying to offend nobody, I call myself fat, guess what? I don't want to go out to eat with you because I'm trying to lose weight. So I'm going to cook my food at home and eat my food that I cook so that I can eat healthier so that I can lose weight and exercise. If I'm trying to do something different in a relationship, you got isolation, silence, hey, gives you that time to say, hey, what have I been doing in these relationships that's keeping me alone? Keeping me not getting what I want. Because it's a cycle. We all go through cycles. We have patterns in our lives that we continually do. You will never recognize the pattern unless you get in isolation so you can get silent so that you can realize, oh, this is what I always do. This is what always happens. So that you can um, strategize a plan so that you can break this unwanted cycle in your life. It's real simple. The information that I'm giving you is simple. The application is the problem. I'm going to say that again. The information that I'm giving you is very simple. It's applying this thing to your life. That's the problem. See, I can tell you, you need to get isolated you, so you can get in silence and you can deal with yourself. But time you get by yourself, the first thing you're going to say, I'm lonely. Had some, I had this, we talked about this last week. I'm lonely. It's lonely. I don't have anybody. I need somebody to talk to. Th that's your problem. You've been talking to too many people. You've been around too many people. <laughs> Getting all their ideas and their beliefs and what they think you should do. And you putting all that stuff in and you still miserable. You still going through the same cycles. You still frustrated. You still arguing. You still broke. You still un uh, overweight because you have not allowed yourself the time of isolation that's going to produce silence in your life because you got to shut that stuff off. And guess what? You're going to make some people mad. So what? This your life. You're going to have people saying, why you don't want to hang with me? Because I'm trying to do something different. I'm trying to do something. I'm saying it. I'm got to get a little closer. I'm trying to do something different. You're going to have those people. Are oh, you acting funny? Well, maybe I am. I'm sorry if I offended you, but I am trying to be a better me and break some cycles in my life because I'm tired of being frustrated. I'm tired of blaming others. I'm tired of being disappointed. I'm tired of being uh, uh, going on vacation with a new boo every six months. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of being, you know, I talk about me. I'm tired of these roles on me. <laughs> you got to do something different. You, you guys, change is simple. It's easy. It is. It's the application that's hard. I can tell, look, I live this book. I live this book. And see, so you can't break a cycle one time because guess what? One thing about life, we are creatures of habit. So, and what I what do I mean by that? You can break a cycle and you can be doing very well. Life will happen, some something tragic, some negative circumstance will come. And guess what? If you don't have a strategy in plan, you will be back where you started. Not the cycle that you broke, but the one that you were started at before. I'm sweating, y'all. Y'all know I have hot flashes. You'll be back at that same um, cycle because we we like uh, to be comfortable. So we go back to those things that keeps us comfortable. We go back to drinking. We go back to eating unhealthy. We go back to our bad habits. We go back to spending or whatever it is. So if you don't do something different, if you don't strategize for life, because life is going to happen, 
So when you're trying to break cycles, you have to, you, when things happen, you got to strategize. Okay, I find myself starting this pattern again. Not in the pattern, but starting some of those same bad habits that I used to do. It's time to go back into isolation. It's time to pull yourself away. We're talking about focus and balance. Pull yourself away. Get in isolation. Get your thoughts together. Shut those, um, shut those voices down in your life shut those people down in your life shut those things down in your life so that you can get with yourself and see look what has happened why am i finding myself feeling the way that i feel why am i find myself seeming kind of going pulling myself back into that cycle that i broke before because life to break cycles you have to continually reevaluate yourself and i talk about that in my book you have to con your life is a, a continual reevaluation. If you don't continually reevaluate yourself, you find yourself those cycles that you broke before in 19 and 2005, you'll be back in them. Those cycles that you broke, you'll be back. Find yourself. How did I get here? We see it all the time. We see people, they lose weight, they do good for five or six years, they lost 50, 60 pounds, they're looking good, they're going to the gym, they're eating healthy, they're being health conscious, and the next thing we know, they gain 80 pounds. How did they do that? Because something happened in their life that they didn't plan for, and they didn't strategize how to uh, change it, how to not go back in that cycle. They didn't strategize. They didn't strategize. They just thought, oh, I'm good. I got this thing down packed. No, you don't. That's a lie. If you human, you don't have a down pack. <laughs> I wrote the book. I ain't got a down pack. I have to keep reevaluating myself all the time. I have to keep reevaluating myself because if you don't, you will find yourself back in that same pattern. I had someone say to me, you guys, all right, I'm sweating. Woo. I'm having a hot flash, but it's all right. <laughs> um, I had someone say to me about about being, well, about being isolated. She said, Tar, do you isolate? And I, you were listening last week. I talked about it. Tar, do you isolate yourself because um, um, you don't have anybody? No, she said, the reason that you isolate yourself is because you're not in a relationship and um, you just rather be alone. I said, no. Cause that's the myth people have. Well, the reason that you don't have anybody, you oh no, I'm sorry, that wasn't the question. She said the reason that I stay busy. She said, is it the reason? The reason that you stay so busy because you're not in a relationship? I said no, ma'am. Because people think if you're not in a relationship, you're doing things to stay busy to keep your mind off a relationship. That's not why I'm in a, not in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship is because I don't want to be in a relationship. Yes, I am busy. Yes, I am busy and I have a lot going on because I'm trying to stay focused and I'm trying to stay balanced. Now, when the right, Mr. Right come around, he going to fit right into that focus and balance. But right now, I haven't found Mr. Right. I feel I, huh, it'd be a lot of Mr. Wrongs. <laughs> That's called it. And what happened, I'm like, Psh, I ain't got time. Because they'll keep you all focused. See, I'm, I'm good with me. And the only reason I can do that is because isolation, getting silent, understanding who Tara is, what Tara needs, what she wants, what she desires, what makes her click. What's her standard for herself? Not for somebody else, but for Tara. I'm not, and that's when I say standard, I mean standard of eating, standard of emotional life, psychological spirituality, standard in relationships. Stand, I have a standard that I had to develop. What works for me? What do I really want? Not what I'm going to settle for. But what I really want, because what happens is a lot of times we settle for stuff. We settle because, well, you know, nobody's perfect. Life is not going to be perfect. Nobody said life was going to be perfect. But you better have you a standard for yourself. And you better learn how to live by that standard. And once you're able to live by that standard, you better let everybody else raise up to that standard. Because guess what? You're not the only one that had that standard. 
It's a whole lot of people because one thing we are like magnets. We are like magnets. We attract who we are. We attract who you who we are. So whoever, whatever that person is, my standard and who I am, guess what? I seem to attract those type of people. I attract those like I you know you guys i do hair i have a been a hairstylist licensed cosmetologist for 28 years and i had to go in my salon today i didn't want to but i did and let me just tell you how the law we call it the law of attraction but my word says as a man thinketh he is so i had a client that scheduled on style seat today didn't know this lady whatever because you attract because I was in isolation and I got silent. I understand. I make myself a standard. Because I, you attract who you are. I had a client that came in today. We start talking. Same mindset. Same mindset. You attract. She said I was just looking on styles. He trying to find somebody. All these stylists in Augusta. And, she, and you attract who you are. So if you don't know who you are. You attract all kind of people. And then you wonder wondering right, all kind of things. And then you wonder why I keep up. What's, what's up with me? Because you haven't dealt with yourself. You haven't had that time in your life of isolation, of silence. Get by yourself so that you can understand who you are. Not who you settled to be. Be okay with you. So that you can know, okay, I know this make me, I know I like sweets. I like to eat me some candy and some cake. And I like sugar. It don't like me, but I like sugar. So I had to make a decision. Now either I'm going to get healthy and let the sugar go, or I'm going to stay fat. So I had to, I'm not, I already know I'm not going to stop eating sweets. I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to limit them to the place in my life where I control them and they stop controlling me. So I have to catch myself every now and then. When I get too stressed, first thing I run to, not the only reason I know this because I got isolated, I got silent. Oh, when I get too stressed, I like to eat me some sweets. So when I find myself wanting sweets, I stop. Okay, so what's going on, Tara? You stressed? Don't start this cycle. Don't start this cycle. So I have to do something else. I have, I have a plan, a backup plan, and a backup plan for the backup plan <laughs> so that I can stay focused and balanced. Oh, you guys, it's almost 12 30. So my time is almost up. So we've been talking about staying focused, staying balanced. We're talking about the importance. I'm going to put it back up here. The importance of isolation and silence. You're not going to be able to change anything in your life. Not one thing. If you don't get in isolation, shut off all the noise from the things, from the people, from the places, so that you can deal with yourself. This is your girl, Tara. It's Midday with Tara. i see you guys next week because I got homework I got to do. I love you guys. Don't forget to like and share. Like and share. Love you guys. Bye.